Hey there and welcome to my back garden today where I'm going to be showing you how to make some concrete plant pots. Concrete plant pots are super easy to make. You can have indoor plant pots, outdoor. Concrete's good for both. I have a couple here already. Here's one I made earlier. Okay, this is a, a Monstera plant, an indoor plant. So this concrete pot doesn't have a hole on the bottom and it's in a plastic container inside. All right, I will be uploading a video in the future to show how I took a cutting of this Monstera from a big plant, encouraged it to reroot, and then I planted it up. So in about a year's time, I should have a huge one. I'm gonna make a video of that soon. Also, concrete pots are good for outdoor plants. So here I have some horseradish growing and on the bottom, there is actually a hole in there and I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. Before you start, you're gonna need something to use as a mold. Now, you can use loads of different things for this. You can use a plastic bucket, cups, anything really. But for today, I'm gonna to be showing you how I use uh, recycled plastic plant pot containers, ones that you get when you buy plants from a, a garden store. I'm gonna use those basically, different sizes, add them together. Before you start, you're gonna need a bunch of things. You're gonna need your mold. So today I'm using plant pots, duct tape, you're gonna need some silicon spray. You're gonna need some gloves to keep your hands clean, a trowel. And for your concrete, you're gonna need cement. You're gonna need sharp sand, and you're gonna need a bucket to mix that all together. The first thing you're gonna to need to do is make sure that your mold is sealed, watertight. So for me, because I've got lots of holes, I'm gonna use the duct tape just to simply patch over those holes to make sure when I pour my cement, it doesn't leak out everywhere. You might not need this because you might be using something that already is sealed. If you are great, then just skip this part because it is quite time consuming. As mentioned, for an outdoor plant pot, you're gonna probably want a hole in there to allow your plant to drain any excess liquid that it doesn't need. To do that, I use some 22 millimeter plastic plumbing pipe I cut that up into about a centimetre and I use that, I hot glue gun that inside the mould and that means when I put my concrete that that is left there, that hole, and then the water can drain away. If you're making an indoor plant pot then you don't need a hole and you can just skip this part. Okay, once your mould's all ready, it's sealed and you've got all your parts in place, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need something to use as a release agent, meaning that when you take your mould apart it comes apart as easy as possible. So to do that I'm using silicon spray, it's used in plumbing a lot. You can use a whole load of things, I've heard people use WD-40, I've heard people use olive oil, but I've always used silicon and that works well for me. Now it's time to mix the concrete. To do that, I'm doing a mix of sharp sand and cement. I'm doing a four to one mix. That's four parts sharp sand for one part cement. So now the concrete's mixed, you're gonna add your base layer. I normally, as I mentioned, go about a centimeter thick. So you pour that in, give it a shake, level it off. Now it's a good thing to mention here that where I'm making a plant pot with a hole in, and I've used that 22 millimeter pipe, it actually acted as a good stop for me to pour my concrete concrete and then it actually acted really nicely when I placed the inside mold in it meant that the pot didn't sink to the bottom it gave me that consistent centimetre gap so it actually is really helpful if you're doing a pot with a hole in if you wanted to you could still use a 22 millimetre pipe and just fill that in with concrete when you pour your base and that way the hole will just disappear okay once you've got your inside mold inserted you're then going to want to go around gradually pouring in the concrete down the sides my molds were quite tight so it made it quite hard but you've got time when you're working with concrete so I just slowly went around adding it in turning my pot as I poured the the concrete in once you're up to the level you want your plant pot to be you can just clean that off either using your finger or use the back of a trowel whatever you can get in there mine was quite tight as I mentioned so I use my finger now I use sharp sand um, also alongside the weight and what that does it, it stops the mold from wanting to bow or to pull inwards it keeps it actually it keeps its shape which actually is really really useful you're going to want to tap that or vibrate your mold with the concrete in and the reason for that is because it's going to get rid of some of those air bubbles so you just tapping it on the side will do you could use a rubber mallet anything really just to vibrate and shake the bubbles out now it's inevitable that you probably are going to get some bubbles in there anyway but i actually happen to quite like the bubbles i think it looks really rustic so i do try and get as many of them out as possible but if you get some in there it's, it's not going to matter they look cool and rustic anyway Okay, once you're done, all you're gonna to wanna to do is leave them to set. Now, what you will want to do is cover that over with some plastic sheeting. And the reason you do that is because otherwise the concrete will try and set too fast. If it tries to set too fast, it's likely to crack. So cover it over with some plastic sheeting to stop that from happening. You're gonna to wanna to leave that for about 24 hours, maybe longer. Um, but what I like to do is after that time, after about a day, have a look, see if it's set enough. And then I take the, uh, the mold apart and I take the concrete pot out of the mold. Now it's not ready at this point, it's still got to spend another four or five days hardening up. By doing that, it just means it's gonna come out of the mold a bit easier because it's still a little bit soft. And that is it. 
that is how you make concrete plant pots. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And also I'd be really grateful for any comments, anything I'm doing well, anything you think I should do to improve my videos. Hit subscribe and hopefully I will see you soon.